Hello, my dear Elvis friends. How, how are you? I hope to find you fine and healthy in this final period, I do sincerely hope so, of the pand pandemic times that we are living in. The second volume of our Elvis Viewer Review has been very well received, both by colleagues and students, as proved by the accesses to the articles that are reaching around 1,000 entries. Meanwhile, the accesses to the first volume keep on increasing, since he have almost achieved the 3,000 entries, both by the Elpis website and by the YouTube channel. It means that there is already in the space a public of viewers and listeners of the Elpis Viewer Review that likes and trusts on what we are doing and expects that we'll keep on doing the good work. I had also received some approaches from different, from different universities, most Europeans, wanting to participate in the review and asking how they may become Elpis members, which is a sign of the success of our group and reopens the question of the future criteria for further adhesion that are very welcome. After having been able to publish two volumes of the viewer review, people expect a third volume also on time. And we are bit by bit beginning to create the conditions to be considered as a stable and reliable institution as we should be in the future. It is time now to prepare the third volume. And I have a new challenge to propose to all of you. Do you remember a masterpiece science fiction film from 1968, directed by Stanley Kubrick, based on a novel by Stephen C. Quark, named 2001, A Space Odyssey? The film is a voyage from prehistoric times to the future in a space shuttle Habit first by man with the help of the machines, then by a computer named O, O9000, that was created to never go wrong, which takes the full command of the ship and manages to kill all the crew except the film's hero, Bowman. This is followed by the struggle of the man, Bowman, against the machine until the last survivor of the aircraft can turn off the computer and discovers that the final destiny of the space travel is the planet Jupiter to find a monolith source of infinite knowledge and intelligence that previously appeared in Earth and at the moon, a kind of life form that showed him and shows us the mystery of one. The film is told by brave West's amazing images, as beauty as they can be, which ironically led some of its most biting critics to say that its director, Stanley Kubrick, would rather lose a friend than a beautiful image. So my challenge, now is to take 2001 A Space Odyssey as a motto for the third number of our review, dedicated to study the future of the mankind and mystery of life forever, taking in consideration the use of machines and their connection to the individuals, the society, and the law. Therefore, we are going to talk about robots, computers, and digitalization, their relevance and indispensability nowadays, but at the same time about their risks and limits with regard to men, society, and public and political power who need to be considered and safeguarded by the law. And it seems to me it is the right time to do it because 2001 was the future, 
when the film was done in 1968. But now, in 2021, being the present, it is already the past. Although some of the things portrayed in the film do not yet exist, at least to the same extent. So it is still the future. What do you say? The team formulation I propose to the third number of our LPZ War Review is 2021 Law in a Space Odyssey. Robots, computers, digitalization as the new challenges to the war. You can choose to talk about A, the effects of robots, computers, and the digitalization in your own specific war field of expertise, international, European, constitutional, civil, administrative, commercial, tax, environmental, economical, penal, fiscal, competition, no matter whatsoever war you wish to work with, or about the effects of robotization, computers, and digitalization in war teaching and learning. And by doing this, you may, like in the Stanley Kubrick film, mix the past, the present, and the future, taking the side of the man or the one of the machines, if you wish. And if it works, like the other two volumes did, by the end of the day, we will have a diversified and comprehensive global, European, and comparative VOR review. The deadline for the second volume of our VOR review could be the 15th of September in order to have it published by the end of that month. You feel like taking once more my challenge and trying to make a VOR review aim to achieve space level? Let's do it. Just do what I'm doing right now. Record with the Zoom program or similar your article. Send it to us and you put it on the web. As in the other two volumes, I'm counting on colleagues Rui and Dimitrios to help me coordinating and editing the review and with Andrea to the technical issues. Highs in the sky, stay safe and keep healthy. See you soon. Bye. And meanwhile, enjoy the images of our film, 2001 A Space Odyssey from Stanley Kubrick. Bye now.